Check this out. In the Cairo Museum, there are many unknown ancient artifacts. And coming to the world's attention is this strange looking piece of ancient history that appears to show an object landing on the Great Sphinx. Is this really some sort of ancient Egyptian flying apparatus? It has long been theorized that the Egyptians found the ancient wonders in this region and simply put up a flag in the form of hieroglyphs and claimed it as their own. This is not unfeasible. In fact, it makes more sense that this should be the case than the Egyptians building these wonders themselves. It points to an age in Earth's history that suggests there was a global empire well before time as we know it began. Is this the depiction of a flying machine? Perhaps a Vimana as foretold in Indian mythology? What if this were true? Why wouldn't we believe it if it was? Do we really want to stick to the idea of a great deception just because we already believe history as we have been told to be true? What's that all about? It really gets you thinking, does it not? This depiction that is being described as Egyptian mythology, by the way, is said to be of a boat that came to rest on the Great Sphinx. Maybe this is of a boat that survived the Great Flood, an ark of sorts. There is plenty of evidence that this region at Giza was in fact affected by the Great Flood, as described in Indian Sanskrit, Sumerian tablets, and of course in the Torah. But this particular piece is not like anything else that has been recovered it is a one-off. It really does look like a modern day description of how we consider a UFO with little green men on board to look like. Would you not agree? Of course, this is just what we suggest. We may never really know the truth to some of these images. The Great Sphinx itself is a mystery in terms of who built it and for what eventual purpose. We still lean towards the idea the Giza Plateau is an ancient warning system about an impending cataclysm and the gaze of the Sphinx holds the secret to the astronomical cycle that tells how long we have left here on Earth before it is reset. The erosion alone puts it much older than we are told and it could be 100,000 years old for all we know and this makes the Sphinx at Giza one of the biggest mysteries hidden in plain sight on our planet. And wait till you hear this. We came across a translation of ancient Egyptian manuscript named the Tully Papyrus, and it translates in English as, In the year 22 of the third month of winter, sixth hour of the day, among the scribes of the House of Life, it was found that a strange fiery disc was coming in the sky. It had no head, the breath of its mouth emitted a foul odor, its body was one rod in length and one rod in width. It had no voice. It came towards his majesty's house. Their heart became confused through it, and they fell upon their bellies. They went to the king to report it. His majesty ordered that the scrolls located in the house of life be consulted. His majesty meditated on all these events which were now going on. After several days had passed, they became more numerous in the sky than ever. They shined in the sky more than the brightness of the sun, and extended to the limits of the four supports of heaven. Powerful was the position of the fiery disk. The army of the king looked on with his majesty in their midst. It was after the evening meal when the disk ascended even higher in the sky to the south. Fish and other volatiles rained down from the sky a marvel never before known since the foundation of the country. And his majesty caused incense to be brought to appease the heart of Amun-Ra, the god of the two lands. And it was ordered that the events be recorded for his majesty in the annals of the house of life to be remembered forever. Crazy, right? Could this description be linked to this scene on top of the Sphinx? We may in fact be looking at an Egyptian description of a flying machine here guys, or perhaps it's just a nice bit of decoration for the Sphinx. Who knows? What do you guys think? Let us know below. Thank you for watching.